C'est depuis 1970 que je suis ici en Brousse, en créant cette cacaoyère. Le cacao, c'est quelque chose qui est trop important pour nous. On le travaille parce que pour mieux garder la, la famille et pour mieux sauvegarder encore la famille de dehors. J'ai défriché cette parcelle parce qu'il fallait la mettre en valeur pour augmenter la production. Que ça ne soit plus à, à 335 sacs, que ça peut aller à plus de 400 sacs. Mais j'ai laissé les arbres parce qu'on ne peut pas déboiser sans laisser des arbres. Il faut laisser les flaquets, les baobas. On élève. C'est-à-dire, quand, dès que tu crées, il faut élever les arbres qui nourrissent le sol pendant la saison sèche. Je dis, je suis un fils de la forêt. Nous, nous avons besoin de la forêt. Parce que les bienfaits de la forêt, c'est nous qui les connaissons, mais mieux que vous. Et... Quand on détruit souvent la forêt, ce n'est pas de manière volontaire. Vraiment, quand nous détruisons la forêt, là, ce n'est pas parce qu'on ne le fait pas de manière volontaire, mais on le fait pour des raisons de survie. We are sorry to destroy, but what can we do? And we have lost so much time without thinking that what we are doing cannot come back. But now it's, it's only uh, we are desperate. The government of Cameroon has the ambition to increase its cocoa production, which is on average 300,000 tons per year, to 600,000 tons by 2030. The demand for, for, for oil palm has, has grown, and so uh, many governments, particularly in Africa, including Cameroon, have seen the oil palm production as a sector where they can grow the GDP of the country, but also to alleviate poverty. And given this uh, very ambitious project, we can see that there's going to be a lot of pressure that is going to be put on existing forests. We need to start doing something right now, like right now, to be able to reduce, if possible, hold deforestation in Cameroon before we end up with an empty country with no trees. A lot of emphasis has been laid on, on the environment with no deforestation commitments. But then for, for that to happen, we need a more holistic view. La, la forêt est tellement importante pour nous. Ça nous exploite le bois, même le chauffage. Parce que même si on fait l'huile, s'il n'y a pas de bois, on ne peut pas faire cuire l'huile. Il y a aussi une partie qu'on exploite pour chercher les... Il y a les arbres qui sont là-bas qui donnent les peaux comme... Quand si j'ai mal au ventre, j'enlève la peau de ça. Je, me, je, me, je bois, ça me traite le ventre. Ha <laughs> ha
J'ai commencé avec un demi-hectare. Après, j'ai évolué en un hectare. Et maintenant, je me retrouve déjà à 30 hectares. Et je voudrais m'aller un peu plus que ça, si j'ai plus de moyens. Quand moi, j'ai le terrain, je défriche, j'abats, je brûle. Et la forêt, c'est une forêt vierge qu'il faut défricher, abattre. Tout, il faut préparer, brûler. Donc, quand la forêt est déjà, déjà défrichée, abattue, c'est là qu'on fait d'abord le champ, on ne commence pas par le palmier. Le coco est trop cheap en Cameroun, mais nous ne savons pas pourquoi. Mais nous travaillons très hard pour le Can I render to my God for his goodness too? Oh, what can I render to my Lord? We are suffering because of Christ. We are not having fine Christ. We can help I render all I have for his goodness toward me. I render. Farmers are trapped in a cycle where they have to borrow money in anticipation for some revenue that's based on a price that's not set by them. That price for cocoa is set by the international market. And then you have a lot of people within the supply chain. You have the chocolate producers, and then you have the large merchants or trading companies that buy from different countries and then supply to uh, the industries. And then down the, the, the supply chain, you also have all the middlemen, the cooperatives, that interact directly with, with the farmers. And at the end of the day, less than 10% of the revenue of that trade actually goes down to the farmer. Sometimes it's like 5% or 6%. I was having a problem of paying school fees of the, my children. I was not having money. I told him to borrow me money. When he came to buy the cocoa, he said that the price must be 950 francs. So I was not having no choice. I gave him the cocoa like that. Yes. I see that inside I lost. Oh. Money is not easy to find. Eh? It's always hard, especially that manual work. Uh, you see how I'm wet everywhere because I'm searching better life. You see how water is pouring from my skin. On a vu le passé de nos parents, comment ils ont travaillé. Et en plus, on est en train de travailler maintenant pour que ça nous aide aussi. C'est ce qu'on a vu euh, avant, devant nos parents. Les small holders in, the, in Africa have no say in the value chain of cacao. The biggest market for the cocoa industry is the finished product, which is the chocolate. Yes, we are waiting for that. That is, the companies sh should add us the price, that the living conditions of the farmers, or me like a buyer, should be better. So the prices that they are giving us is not good. It's, it's not possible for you to, to talk about zero deforestation and telling farmers not to, not to 
expand their farms, not to cut down forest without providing them alternatives. We have uh, some people go coming from the government which are supposed to give an assistance to the villagers, but they are not up to the task. Sometimes they even some one can come and ask me, how do you do to do this in the plum oil? I'm the one to teach him instead of teaching me what I have to do. So those uh, people that we need to give us the directive, how to proceed to have a better production, we don't get them. They have to be educated in that discipline so that they can be up to the task to come and guide, to give the guidelines to the villagers. So if you want farmers to deforest less, they can increase production by teaching them how to use uh, improved uh, methods, better management practices, improve uh, seedlings that would help them improve on their on-farm yields and then also get into better milling uh, systems. So most of the milling by smallholders is with artisanal mills that are inefficient. So if those processes can be made more efficient, then uh, smallholders that are very big uh, contributors in the sector can increase their production without necessarily cutting down new forest. It has not been easy to get into the signature of the roadmap to deforestation free cocoa. First of all, the main resistance was on what do we mean by deforestation? Why are you imposing this new policy to us smallholders who are not getting enough from the uh, proceeds of our cocoa? The prices is fluctuating and at the same time now you want us to stop producing cocoa. For example, we are trying to certify, if you look at the certification process for each of these commodities, what do the people in Europe want to consume and how do they want to consume it? If you look at, we, we are talking about let's go green, let's reduce our carbon footprints. And so they put those certain standards. I can only buy cocoa that is certified. I can only buy cocoa that is produced in a certain way. Then we look at those policies. That is the market. If you want to satisfy that market, what do our local policies say? And how do you integrate what the consumer wants to what the local policy say? Farmers, they are facing the realities. But you have to go to them, you have to explain to them, they have to understand the basis of those rules. And there should not be rules that are you know, just, just you know, uh, drafted at the international level, you know, and signed at the international level without their own participation and also without explaining it to them. But if somebody come and propose me that in my plantation, I have to apply the certification. He has to give me the way of selling my production with the more income. That, that's only the, the, the solution because it will be a motivation for me to apply it. But if I don't live only de la production du cacao dans la situation actuelle ce n'est pas possible on ne gagne presque pas et si la durabilité vient même avec des contraintes supplémentaires qui vont augmenter des coûts et si le prix reste le même ça ne peut pas aller ça ne peut pas aller Certification alone is not the silver bullet that will provide solutions to the sustainability uh, issues within cocoa and the palm oil sectors. But then, it's just one of the mechanisms that can be used 
to make the, these sectors more sustainable. It has to be part of a hybrid strategy that involves government uh, policies, government regulations, and also a strategy that involves smallholders who are at the center of the production of these commodities so that they would get their voices heard, get all the issues that they are facing during uh, the production process because they are the ones contributing towards uh, deforestation. They are the ones facing all the socioeconomic issues. So if they are put at the center and get them involved in the decision-making process, I think it will be a more lasting way to get trade within the sectors more sustainable. Bon, après mon départ, je suis en train de former mes enfants qui pourront aussi faire de même également comme moi-même.